and welcome to another bag video. Today we are having a look at the Nomo London Bouchamp 14 inch laptop bag and specifically we'll be looking at how much stuff you can fit in it because it's not the biggest bag. It is really nice looking smart commuter sort of backpack but it's quite slim and small but then on the Nomo's YouTube channel there's a video where they put quite a lot of things in it and then on the actual page for this bag there's also a list of what they think that will fit into this bag so i'll test it in this video but firstly we'll just take a closer look at the bag itself in terms of its features compartments and stuff like that so the reason why i got this bag is because i wanted a laptop bag that also looks like a handbag but because i commute on the train now i can't really use a handbag because it's just too uncomfortable, it's too heavy to carry. I always take my work laptop back and forth, take it home and then I have to obviously take it back to the office. So I wanted something that will be able to hold my laptop safely, but also look more like a handbag, a bit nicer. And this really does the job because this looks really smart and it's waterproof as well and it's quite sturdy it feels really good quality so this ticked the boxes for me so when you first look at this bag it looks very premium it looks nice it looks good quality the zips are really nice and smooth the material has nice soft feel to it but the only thing is i feel like this may scratch quite easily i've seen this bag where people are selling it second hand where it's got quite a lot of scratches and marks so i'm not sure whether it's just them being a bit careless with the bag or whether this actually will scratch easily so we'll see about that now in terms of its compartment so it's got the big main compartment and that's where the laptop uh, padded place is and then on the front it's got some more um solutions going on so when you look at the very front it's got this unique sort of double pocket with one zip design at the front so one zip covers both pockets and they they're not the biggest but they will fit some like small essentials that you want easy access to but then behind it you get a bigger pocket and that one has a bit more organization going on there pen loops and two sliding pockets and then in one of them there are some card slots so you can put some cards in there and it's actually rfid protected if you don't know what that is it means it protects you from people who use some devices to scan your pockets or bags and they can steal your cards information so this is actually protecting you against that this pocket goes all the way to the bottom and it is quite spacious so definitely really happy to have it there then on the back there are just these padded straps they look very sleek and nice i'm not sure if they'll be enough in terms of comfort they may not be have enough padding in them but they look very smart now i've got the older model so it doesn't have anything else in the back but in the latest model there's like a strip going across so that you can put the bag easily on top of your a trolley bag and also there's a hidden pocket there but mine is the older one so it doesn't have that on the top there's just a grab handle it looks again really nice and sleek and then going into the main big compartment i love this red finish you just just look at it it's just gorgeous so yeah starting from the back there's the unique normal london uh, id so basically you can register your details using this code on their website and then if the bag is found then people can easily find you and who to send the bag to and then the laptop compartment it doesn't feel the sturdiest to be honest like the padding on the back is i guess it's enough but i feel like i'd want a bit more than that so i might be putting my laptop in a sleeve and then in the uh, not just on its own then there's another like sliding pocket which just makes it easier to like put your tablet or kindle or notebook right in front of the laptop it's easy to get out and then another storage solution <laughs> pocket it's just a small um, zipped compartment where you can just put some things it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the bag it stops about halfway through i would say that's pretty much it in the main big compartment and it's worth mentioning that the bo very bottom of the bag is padded as well so that protects your belongings a bit more it's not just this thin material at the bottom it is nicely padded which is great and you can get it with gold or silver hardware and i've got it with the gold so i've got all these items here like they did in the youtube video and now we'll see how they fit and how the bag will feel once all those items are in it so i've got some hand cream a lip balm this will go in the small pocket then in the other small pocket i'll put in a passport then in the bigger 
pocket I'll put a couple of cards into the card slots that um, we have in one of the pockets uh, a couple of pens I'll just throw them in a power bank that will go in there as well then we'll move on to the big compartment I'll first use the front pocket so I'll put in a spray kind of spray and um, a glasses box then probably the heaviest item um, a 13 inch macbook pro that will go here and then a notebook so this is like a5 uh, maybe slightly off a5 but yeah that sort of size that will go in this pocket here now a water bottle this is a half a liter water bottle an umbrella just a small one like that and now the bulkiest item the trainers now i don't know why you'd want to carry a pair of trainers with you but that's what they do in that video so we'll deal with that right hmm this is getting a bit tight now we'll see if i can zip it up i really don't want to break the zips i'm just on the test i managed to zip it up however as you can see the bags shape is not looking the best right now with all those things in there and then the grab handle feels a bit dangerous because it's so heavy so yeah the test is passed however i wouldn't really carry all those items in the bag at the same time like it doesn't look great and also i wouldn't carry a spare pair of trainers with me okay so now let's move on to test the capacity using the information they put on the website and i feel like they're being quite optimistic on there because these are all the items that they promise that can fit in the bag i feel like maybe they don't mean that all those items can fit at the same time but maybe just that you should be able to fit those things in i don't know uh, let's run the test that's the best thing to do so first i'll go in with the laptop just to kind of have it at the back little folder in there and the magazine the shoes they'll go straight in by the way i cleaned them before this test because i didn't want like dirt all over the bag anyway and um, the water bottle the brolly and already this bag is pretty much full well i've still got a few items to go the little lunch box then i think i put the pencil oh actually my fit in there no not really pencil case it's in now i can't zip it up with the, the lunchbox there it's just impossible it's not gonna work right um the cardi i'll put it on top like that charging cable i've got my camera charger because i had it handy it's just not gonna work i'm not able to put in the lunchbox in there now even without the lunchbox it looks like i may struggle to zip it up so let's give it a go mm. right so i managed to zip it up it's very bulky and full but we didn't fit the lunchbox and i was being um like reasonable and i've not used big items but based on what they listed i used like the skinniest smallest possible but the test is failed unfortunately okay so that's it for this video i hope you'll find it helpful if you like this bag but you're wondering whether it would be big enough for your needs overall i feel like it will be fine for my everyday carry because like i said before i'm not gonna carry shoes with me spare shoes like i would literally never do that why would i carry a spare pair of shoes to work and then just taking that item out will give me enough space if i'm taking some food with me or if i buy some things do some shopping and i need to get it home so that i don't have to carry a separate bag they should be able to fit in there and yeah i'm very excited to start using it i think it's a beautiful bag the only thing i'm worried about like i mentioned previously is how scratch resistant will this material be because it seems sturdy but also i feel like it would be easy to make it look uh, worn out quite quickly but we'll see about that if you have any questions at all about this bag let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to help you out other than that thanks for watching uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hopefully i'll see you in the next one